Alrighty, we have another update coming. We have boxes this time that came in this past Thursday. Um, I'm still missing the CPU water block, and that's mainly just because the local post office shut down because they saw a few snowflakes. And I don't have any idea when that's going to get here, if it's going to get here at this point. Um, I'm hoping it'll come tomorrow. Today's Sunday now. I'm hoping it'll get here tomorrow, Monday. But anyway, I'll show you some of the parts I do have. First we have boxes. Here is the reservoir. And, hold on, let me flip. There it is. There's the reservoir. There's the OC cool. There's the radiator below it. I'll show you that. And there's not much information on this box for this thing. Here is the radiator. It is getting in the light there. Uh, GT Stealth 240. It is whatever the most advanced PC radiator period, whatever. Marketing lingo. And let me check the back. And I'd like to get in there and show you those words, so just a moment. Thirty FPI custom low profile, yeah, yeah. And the other interesting thing I want to show you is the thermal ratings, thermal capacity ratings for the different model radiators, which I thought was interesting and nice to know. And the fan configurations. And I have the GTS 240, which is rated at 700 watts. So that should be pretty good for my application. I found one of those uh, one of those websites that lets you put in the overclock values. And since I'm aiming at 5 gigahertz for a Core 2 Duo, that should be about between 500 to 550 watts of heat. And this is rated for 700, so that should work. Now, get down here and show you the actual radiator. Uh, let's see if it'll focus on its own. It's trying. There we go. And this is the radiator itself. It takes two 120 millimeter fans. It's very dense. And it's still not focusing. There it goes. And I've got the two fittings on it already. There's the case with the pump in it. I'll show you that in a minute. And I need to get the reservoir out. Um, I'll cut to that and, well, whatever. I don't like cutting. So just a moment here. Let me set this down. macro mode here is the reservoir and it doesn't want to focus there we go kind of partially focused this is the two fittings on the end it's got three holes here I'm going to have to to do like that that's better and here and I don't know if you can see there's a little tube inside that runs down and it'll pick up the, from the bottom if I want to and I know this isn't the best focus I'm trying and 
It's got one in the bottom, three on top. And it's actually pr fairly heavy. Um, it's made of brass. It's copper plated brass on top. So, here, let me get it open and show you the inside. Here, I'm trying to see if I can show you the edge. It's actually really thick on the edge. There's my finger next to it. And you can see it's, I thought it'd just be cheap plastic at first, but it's not. It's thick. So it should be pretty good at holding capacity. Now, I'll sit that down. And let me get out of here and show you what I've done to the case. Uh, okay, uh, bore some holes in it myself. And up top I have a fill port I put in there. Um, yeah. Let me standard G and a quarter uh, thread here so I can put the little funnels on it or whatever and a plug and I put two holes in the top and made them myself and there's that and put that back in there well there we go Side. I should have been more prepared for that. Whatever. There's the inside on the fill port. That's what it looks like with the bulkhead connector and the fitting on the bottom. case and these will just go up there and then down inside and down the reservoir on this hole in the back with the bracket and just run a tube down to it and then what I'm thinking is the line come off this the back end of the pump run all the way up to the top up to the top of the radiator and then on the return side I'll have it come down here and go into the CPU water block and then right down the reservoir and then back down to the pump and that way uh, gravity will help feed it all the way down to the pump again. Well, that's the plan so far. That's all I have so far. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and make a mock-up the, of the radiator put it in the back and show you all and splice that in the end of this. So, just a moment. <coughs> 